trying to figure out how to achieve a certain effect using the new standard shader that I've been doing for a long time with SkyShop to great effect. And that is, I want to figure out how to be able to boost specularity beyond what you would call a realistic amount to create cool effects, almost as if uh, dealing with high dynamic range emission. So for example, here I'm working on a little piece to this uh, to my game zone and here I've got this thing here in the middle that is currently shaded with a standard shader and that's a, a substance designer substance on it and it looks pretty cool we've got some cool reflections there it's really cool and if I go but if I go to if I select this and switch to the sky shop shader you'll see it looks very similar except now that I've switched to the sky shop shader I have the ability to adjust this thing called the specular intensity up here which boosts specularity and realize that there are no lights in this scene so the only light in the scene is this uh, HDR image of the Milky Way and so by boosting the specularity to levels beyond 1.0 now I'm in linear HDR color space I get this really cool effect that works really well with Bloom that is something like emissive but it's using the specularity to essentially to emit light because it's breaking the rules of standard physically based rendering that is it's not conserving energy it's generating energy <laughs> by this boost and I know that's not physically correct but it's very useful in creating very cool looking things. So I'm wondering how I can replicate this without the use of SkyShop. Uh, it would be nice to consolidate to one lighting system right now, but in the meantime, I'm happy to have these SkyShop shaders that's, that are really cool in this manner.